our lifestyle is sustained by energy. Much of that energy is used to transport us from one place to another, whether by car from our home to an office or school, or by plane around the world to visit friends or experience another culture, we need energy to get there. Yet our use of energy creates a host of economic, energy security and environmental challenges. The United Nations has declared 2015 the International Year of Light. It encourages us to think about how light can promote sustainable development and provide solutions to worldwide challenges in energy. At Carnegie Mellon University's Scott Institute for Energy Innovation, we are responding to this challenge by using light, with the help of a catalyst that speeds up chemical processes, to develop the next generation of environmentally sustainable solar fuels. This research mimics nature's photosynthesis process that captures carbon dioxide and sunlight so easily. Parallel photoreactors utilize intense LED light for the illumination of solar fuel producing catalytic reactions. For example, using the energy from sunlight and with the help of a catalyst, we can split water into hydrogen and oxygen to fuel a car. Using hydrogen as a fuel has less impact on the environment than gasoline. We can use a similar process to take carbon dioxide one of the gases that cause climate change to generate methanol. Methanol can replace gasoline and has been used for many years to fuel cars in the Indianapolis 500. And we can split zinc oxide with light into oxygen and zinc, a metal used in zinc air batteries in a process that costs less and uses less fossil fuels than traditional processes. At Carnegie Mellon University's Scott Institute for Energy Innovation, we are helping policymakers and consumers make wise decisions based on scientific and technical information. You can help!